a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi everyone, welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra and today we are talking about small cap ETFs. So November was a big month, a great month for stocks. The Dow gained about 11.8% and NASDAQ too gained about 11.8% uh, and the S&P 500 was up about 10.8%. So it was the best month for these three major indexes uh, in a while. But the biggest gainer in November was the small cap index, uh, the Russell 2000 uh, index of small cap stocks was up more than 18% in November. And this was uh, thanks mainly to some positive vaccine news. Uh, we know that Pfizer, Moderna and AstraZeneca too, they have reported very encouraging results for uh, final stage trials for their coronavirus vaccines. So it seems that uh, Pfizer and Moderna will get approval uh, for their vaccines uh, this year itself and they will be distributed starting uh, uh, with for uh, healthcare workers and for others uh, the vaccine would be available time next year. Another reason why we saw this widening of the rally uh, because earlier this year, mainly mega cap stocks were leading uh, the rally. But the widening of the rally was thanks to box, uh, vaccine news and also hopes for a smooth presidential transition. And uh, Janet Yellen's nomination as the next Treasury Secretary also boosted investor set sentiment uh, because uh, uh, she's market friendly and probably she will uh, vote for, uh, she will try to bring a big fiscal stimulus uh, next year. And in fact, um, uh, today also there are some talks about a fiscal stimulus, a bi bilateral group of senators is working on that. So hopefully we'll get some fiscal uh, stimulus soon. If not this year, then definitely next year. So that has benefited economically sensitive areas of the market, particularly small caps and also energy stocks, financial stocks. And so let's take a look at three small cap ETFs, which are very popular and which have done very well uh, in November. So the first one we are highlighting is the most popular, most well-known, I would say, small cap ETF because it uh, tracks the iShares, uh, it, it, sorry, it tracks the Russell 2000 index, uh, which is the most popular small cap index. So Russell 1000 uh, tracks the 100 largest companies in the US and uh, the companies which are uh, 1001 to 3000 by market capitalization, they go in the Russell 2000 index. Uh, the ETF IWM is, as I said, very popular. It has uh, 51.8 billion in assets and has an expense ratio of 19 basis points. Now, to learn more about the CTF, you can go to the code page on zax.com. You can read our research report, articles, and then you can go to the external homepage, iShares webpage, using the link on our website. And you can learn more about this ETF and also take a look at the portfolio. So you will see that uh, the weights are much smaller compared to you what you see in the S&P 500 ETF. Uh, so you get more diversification uh, in small cap ETFs, even though if they are market capitalization weighted. Now, uh, you will see some well-known companies to Caesars Entertainment, Penn National Gaming, uh, Sunrun, Novavax. Novavax is a vaccine stock. Sunrun is a solar stock. Uh, Caesar Entertainment, of course, uh, uh, that will benefit from reopening national and national gaming is uh, sports betting uh, stock. So those have done pretty well this year. These are the top holdings in the CTF. Now, the second one which I am highlighting is again by iShares. 
And in fact, this is more popular in terms of assets under management, though both are pretty close. So this has 52.3 billion in assets, so making it the largest small cap ETF. And why it is so uh, popular is because it charges just seven basis points. So it is uh, used a lot in more ETF model portfolios. And it is it has a more concentrated exposure compared to IWM, it tracks 600 uh, small cap stocks versus 2000 for uh, the Russell 2000 ETFs. And these 600 uh, stocks are selected by the S&P index committee. So the first largest 500 go in the S&P 500 index and then next 600, about 600, which are selected by the index committee, they go in the CTF. Now again, to learn more about the CTF, you can go to the code page on zax.com, read our research report, etc. And you can go to the external home page uh, and you can learn more about the CTF. In fact, the expense ratio is six basis points, not seven, which I mentioned earlier because they recently reduced the expense ratio on this uh, ETF. Uh, and you can look at the holdings. You will see some known holdings, uh, Brooks Automation, some not so well-known holdings. Uh, these are all small companies, uh, 600 small companies that the CTF holds. Now, the third one that I'm highlighting is one of the top performers this year because this tracks the growthiest stocks in the small cap universe and we know that small cap sorry growth stocks did very well this year uh, so this holds about 589 stocks small cap uh, stocks with growth characteristics this was very popular with 13 billion in assets and this is also very cheap with seven basis points in expense ratio this tracks the crispr us small cap growth index. Now again, to learn more about this CTF, you can go to the code page on zax.com. And from there, you can go to the external home page, the Vanguard web page for the CTF. You can look at the portfolio and other details for this ETF. And again, you will find some companies which have done very well this year, Etsy, uh, Zendesk, uh, these are HubSpot. These are among the uh, among very good performers this year, which have driven the performance of this ETF too. And on the last slide, I have the comparative performance versus the S and P 500 index. And you will see that uh, the small cap growth ETF is the best performer. It is up more than 25% this year. The S&P 500 index and IWM, they are up between 10% to 15%. And uh, IJR is up a little less than 5% this year. Thanks for watching. And in full disclosure, I hold VBK in the ETF investor portfolio that I manage. Make sure to check out zax.com slash promo for an interesting offer. And also make sure to subscribe to our videos so that you do not miss anything. And I'll see you next week.